have a You know what to do? Please, 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 I can explain. I can no, explain. What is this nonsense? Yeah, yeah, I can explain. So you look in my face and had the guts to put just a piece of meat in a soup in the food of a titled man like me. So is that your plan to stab me to death? You have failed. No, you have failed. Please, 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 This is the height of it. Papa cannot be punching you whenever he wants. I think it's time someone talks some sense into him. And who? Who will do that? I will confront him. What? What do you want to do? Confront him. I, I support her. It's becoming too much. Someone needs to stop Papa. I support you, sister. Oh, I wish Brother GK was around. Mm -hmm. Have you lost your mind? Lost my mind? How? <laughs> it's like you've forgotten about the tradition. You suddenly forgot about the tradition. You, male woman, confront your father. A man in this community. It's like you don't love your life again. Do you want to die? Have you forgotten the penalty you receive after doing this? Mama, I think it's high time someone confronts my father. We cannot continue to suffer because we are women. <laughs> Please, my daughter. Don't. Please. <clears throat> And what are you still doing here? Will you get to that hut and prepare me something to eat? And what are you still doing here? What are you doing here? Like mother, like daughter. Nonsense. I am enough! But the way you are treating my mother is not good. She is not a slave. Have you gone out of your mind, son? Father, I'm all right. Nothing is wrong with me. I came back and I saw her crying again. Why? Hmm. It's a pity you are not acting like the man you are. She is your mother, no doubt about it. But I will never allow her to rule over me. 
That is a great abomination. She must do the right thing and not what she wants. Father, that is the answer. Father, I don't like it. Ever since I was a child, my mother has been faithful to you. Why are you doing this, Father? Why? How okay, will you keep quiet there? In all my years as your father, I've been trying my best to teach you our custom and tradition of the land. But you seem to know nothing. Nothing. That's useless tradition. That's useless and what less tradition. I am not in support of it. I can never follow that useless tradition. Hi. Women should be respected like men. Women should be respected like the men. After they get back to the men. Why are you why are you why are you treating them? Why? Father, they are not slaves. I am ashamed of you, Ejike Mowa. You are less than a man. If not that you are my son, I would have announced this statement you just made before the council of... I don't care, Father! And you know what I don't care! Of. I don't care anymore! Nonsense. Father, I will support them! This tradition must stop! This wicked tradition must stop! And I will stop it! Hey. Watch me! I'm ashamed of you. Hey! Very, very ashamed of you. That is it. Will you come back here? Come, come, come back, come back, come back here. Whether you like it or not, you must marry Maziaku, and that is final. I will not marry him. I will not marry a man three times my age. Age has nothing to do with marriage. Put it in your score if you don't know. I will not marry him. Never. I, I can see. You now have the guts to disobey me. For you to stand in my face and talk to me in this manner. You must be out of your sense. Nay, hmm? what is it? What is the problem? Ask your useless daughter. She has the guts to disobey me, knowing the penalty that follows what he has done. Ma, how dare you disobey your father? Do you want to end up in the king's uh, prison? Or, 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 or rather being ostracized out of this clan? Nay, I did not disobey my father. My father wants me to do the impossible. He wants me to marry Maziako. And that is what? final. How could you not? Nonsense. Are you mad? Eh? How dare you open your rotting mouth to ask me such irrelevant question? Have you lost your mind? Have you? No, but what you are doing is not good. Can you ask our daughter to marry that old man that threw away his wife and children from his house? Any man would do exactly what he did to Isioma. Was she able to give him a son? Was she? I will not support this marriage. I will not. Even if our son was to be around, he would not support this idea. My daughter can never marry that old man. Ah. So you now decide what happens in my own house. Huh? Is that what you are trying to tell me? Ah, you are now the alpha and the omega of this house. You decide what happens. I see. I will show you that you are only but a woman. And for that you have no say. You? So this is a thing. It's a plan work. You plan with your mother to fight me. Be ready for fight. Just wait for, be ready for fight. Everything you talk, it was so nonsense. When did you challenge you? Let's leave this place. Leave here. Ma, what are you doing here? Is it not Papa? Papa, 
What did you do again? Papa said I'm not going to come into the house except I agreed to marry Maziaku. Ma, 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 Why is your father doing this now? I don't know. Papa is just being mean and wicked. Mama, do you know that he said you two you should not come into the house? Oh. He said until you convince me to marry that, that, that old, old cargo. Mama, see, I cannot marry that man. He's too old. I don't like him. I can never marry him, Mama. I cannot. Not even only old. That man is wicked. He's heartless. You can never marry that man. I will not allow that. What is it? What do you mean, what is it? Huh? How dare you walk out on me? Knowing full well that I wanted to talk to you. How dare you? What do you want to talk to me about? What? Do you want to tell me to marry an old man like you? Yeah. I will never marry a man old enough to be called my father. You are making a very big mistake. Is it because of my beard, the white beard? And you're very strong here. I'm telling you. Look, if I handle you, eh? You, if you see any young man in this village, you will run because you, you know why. For all the old people, it is quality. For the young ones, it's quantity. And yeah, you know you cannot compare quantity with quality. Eh? So, what do you say? I know. You are strong indeed. Yeah. I will not marry you. Is that how you want it? Is that the way you want to play it? Do you know the implication of refusing a man, you a woman, refusing a man of what he wants from you? Do you know the implication? Of course, I am. Good. And I do not care what the implication is. Hey. Yes! You do not care? The ego will hear this. Let him hear. The ego will hear this! And let him hear. Rubbish! Hey. I will never marry you. It's okay. It's all right. We shall see. We shall see. What, 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 what are you doing here? Huh? Hey! What hey, is it? Hey, everywhere hey, I go, oh, you. Everywhere oh, I go, you. What is it now? Oh, it's Yaku. It's Yaku. You, this senseless white huh? beard, old, old, haggard fool. So this is what you're doing. It's Yaku. Let me tell you. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish your brain can function like this. Your libido. Yes. Because your libido is so very much awake while your brain is completely asleep. You don't reason very well. It will not complete the fool, complete, complete fool. So, Ichako, you chased your wife, your beautiful wife and kids, your children, you sent them away. So they will be chasing this onugu. Look at the onugu in Edo. Look at the onugu you are targeting. You could do the one. You want to use your dirty body. Let me tell you, stand. Look at the look at the kind of girl you want to stand with this your old flesh. Hey, Chaco. But I tell you, you see you, you see you. When the numb group that I will run, will she have do a gun like this? Do do jagon. Come on, get away from here, old fool. Get away. You are a madman. You are. Get away. Fire! I'm not fear. In my maternal home, you idiot. If you come close to me again. I will break your head. You want to spill my blood in my maternal home? You want to commit atrocity? Ah! Ichako! You push the ghost down again! For the second time! Eh? The ghost have gotten it up to here! They have gotten it up to here! You will never go scot free in this one! Ichako! Hey! Ah! No, no, Mama, no, is a Ibo Awanyo! No, no, Mama, no, is a Ibo Awanyo! my mother was sent out of the house and my father has no plans of bringing her back just because she served him cold food last night. 
We women have gone through a lot of the hands of men. And we are still going through them. It is high time we prefer a solution to this height of wickedness. It is high time we call this speed. A speed. How will we go about it? Who are we going to run to? If we raise our voices, the king will get us punished. On my way to this place, I met to Kamaka whose husband recently died. You need to see the way she was molested by some men. They were busy deliberating on who to share his husband's property, even her husband's brothers included. Look. In desperate times, lions eat grass. Our words are nothing when there is no action to it. <laughs> action, they say, speaks louder than words. Let us beat the drum and let the war start. Because there must be emancipation for women in this community. There must be a way out. We cannot continue like this. Women are helpless. Something must be done. The same hot water that softens the potato hardens the egg. Women have gone through a lot. Not just from their actions, but from the circumstances that surrounds us. Women's voice have to be heard. We have to be respected. We have to be appreciated. Nevertheless, one who eats with a rotting tooth eats with caution. Madman into this palace. Shh. I said, shh. Yes. See, let me remind you. I have been coming to this palace even before you became a chief. When did you become a chief? I've been drinking. I've been coming to this palace to take drinks right from Ayatam. And you want to tell me who allowed this one inside this palace? Oh, yeah, come and push me out. Come and push me out. Uh, um, uh, 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 I brought a complaint. Mm. There's a big complaint. Uh, 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 uh. I've been trying to warn this your elders. Yes, I've been trying my best to warn this your elders, <coughs> but it seems that they are not listening to. They are not hearing me. So I decided to come to you today. Let me come while they are here. Go, go, go before you. Let me say it. Yes. You see, Mazi, this Mazokori. This Mazokori has decided to turn his wife into a punching bag, and I don't know, I'm, I'm still wondering why. I have tried every possible means of letting him know that it is wrong to be beating his wife, but Mazokori continues all the time. Oh, is he, is he, is he Mazi, Maziako? Maziako, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you. Okay, to again. Anyway. Do you know that Mazia could chase his wife and children out of his house because of mia 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 because of mia please take this madman take this madman to live here this listen this madman live here oh. you will take, I will not take it. it you will take it now he has his eyes on virtually every girl in this community and we're going to be or to another to John to Ozoka or Ozochi to Amara all of them 
On a gari, na chwa do mwaka. This this is Jack. Will you shut up? You see this one? This one is okay me. Mazike. Okay be. There is no window you will not see Mazike. In a window every night. All the windows on a window to door, door to window. Are you not cautioning these elders? Are you not cautioning them? So no. <laughs> what nonsense is all that? If, 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 no, I want to ask you, Igwe. Let me even ask you. I want to ask you. Because is it that you are not well lectured about this eldering and this uh, uh, ruler leadership? Eh? Is it that you are not? Uh, he, hey, he hey, did not teach you well. Uh, uh, is it that you uh, are not? Uh, enough. Enough. Mm -hmm. Get out of my palace. If I'm not done, I'm just beginning. Hey, you should leave. You should get out. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You would have said it before you said it. Oh, put us here. Oh, now, take me out. Take me out. Oh, get out. Oh, choku. Oh, choku. You have drink there. Go. Or do you want to take care of this? You got to go. Uh, uh, guards. What are you doing? 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 No. 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 Why will you be free from this or what? Yes, man. Why will you be free from this one? Who are you to tell me what to do? Are you mad? Eh? I don't want to see you ever again in my house. You are the reason you are useless that I refuse to marry Mazako. You connect it hard to disobey me. You must leave my house. You must leave my house. Sorry, sorry. Oh, you, you are still talking. Fine. You are still talking. Fine. Let me go. 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 Let me you have committed the greatest abomination. I don't care. You I don't care. I don't care. You shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have done that. I must stay out of this. I must stay out of this. By the way, don't you ever in your life try it next time. If you try it, I will be forced to beat you up. You were most dangerous. That is what sets you right, my father. You dead man. <laughs> Don't get that. Can you get that? Let me help you. <laughs> See, let me tell you. Revolution has started. Very soon. Everything that you wicked elders did start for all these women. You will eat it. Two-two plate. You will eat it. Two-two plate. You eat it. Nonsense. See, reliable source told me that your son beat you up. You know, you cut his hair again. Money again, look like this, and you landed with your head. Bah! So to avoid, they said, they said, they said, this one, said this one. I decided to come and witness it with my eyes. You deserve to die. I wish he just ki he killed you. You told him no. I wish he killed you. My friend, will you get out of my way? No, 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 nonsense. Come here. Come on, stay here. Small elder, stay here. Little elder. See, when others are talking to you, you, you will still open your mouth and talk to me. You see, very soon, everything, you see, all the dealing, everything you people are doing to these women, very soon, you will receive your own. Okay, you will receive your own. Very, very soon. Talking nonsense. In this village, one day I will bring out time. You tiny elder. You. One day I will just corner you one side in this village. I will just kill you. I do you one place. You know you are small. Nobody will see you. Give me more Nonsense.
I can see you are not only drunk, but you have lost your sense of reasoning. Ana pogi o choku, ena choku na gagali. Come here, come no, no. Here. Listen to me. Listen to me. If others are calling me Otoku, you dare not call me Otoku. Call me Oku here, because I will bring out my time when it's a wagon. Nonsense, Edda. Stupid, Edda. You think I'm women? All those women, you people are just doing anyhow. Try me. Surugi, surugi, no, 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 no. Come on, get away from here. Who's out? If you dare try this again, you will regret stopping me on the way. Nonsense. Come on, move. Come on, move. Come on, move. Come on, come on, stupid boy. Zuz away. Stupid idiot. No, come on, Zuz away. Try me next time, I will deal with you. See you, you, you elders. You, 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 Your Highness, you needed to see the way he pushed me and nearly beat me up. As if that is not enough, he picked me like a condemned property straight to the backyard. At least me and my God knows the way I managed to escape. If not, he would have killed me. Do you mean your son did all that to you? Uh, your Highness, I, I swear. That must be the handwork of your wife. She wants you dead. Igwe. He is very correct. You see, women, they are very worthless. Useless. My own is a professional giving me female children. No single man, not even one. Tell me what we need them for. Eh? They are very useless women. They are useless people. Though. Exactly. Very useless. You are right. Exactly. I believe you. You are right. Hi. Exactly. Hi. Your son must be punished for laying his hand on an elder of this kingdom. Yes, correct. He must receive the punishment due to him. Guards! Why are you going to in such a hasty manner? No, we don't arrest. It's going to arrest EGK. EGK? Eh? Where is EGK? Hey, where is EGK? He must leave now. Leave? Yes. EGK? No, so what is it? The Ibed guards are almost here. Yes, yes. they're EGK. coming to take you to the palace. Mm -hmm. ah. See, let them come. I'll fight them. EGK? Am I not a man? You're a man, I know. Please, mama, mama. leave now. Look for a place to hide. When they, are, they must have gone, you can come back. Mama, please stay out of this. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not hiding anything. My brother, Ejiki. Oh God. Ejiki, listen to me. You have to leave now. For your safety, please. <laughs> please, brother. Please leave immediately. You know these people are evil. We don't want anything to happen to you. Mama, please speak him now. Ejiki. EJK, please, you have to leave now, for my sake. I beg you in the name of God, please, leave. Brother. You can't match with this, you can't match yourself with these people. Leave. Leave. Please. No. Please. No. Please. Please. No. Please. No. Please. No. Please. No. Please. No. Please. Where is your son? You know exactly what he did. As you can see. Let's search everywhere. Your son can run, but he cannot hide. Tell him to come out. He must receive his due punishment.
father. And that is the height of it. So you went to the palace and let a complain about me when you know you're the one at fault. Hmm. I can see your mother has taught you how to insult your own father. I am ashamed of you. As a matter of fact, you are less than a man. I'd rather be less than a man than to be among you who beat up women like goats. To be a boy. That nonsense must, be, must stop. Hmm. You will surely regret this. And for your mother. Hmm. Yes. Okay, let us watch and see. You will soon realize that I am your father. I give back to you. Nonsense. <coughs> father. <coughs> Father, father, stop this. Stop this constant harassment and beating. Why are you beating your wife? Why? <coughs> See? Who knows if the gods have decided to punish you with this your constant coughing? Let me see you touch her again. Let me see you touch her again. If I do, what will you do? Nonsense. No, let me see you touch her again. So, so your man <laughs> enough. Your man enough living under your father's roof. And no fear. Useless boy. So your mother has poisoned your mind against me in this house. You don't worry. You will regret this. The king, the, the, the council of elders. I must report you before them. Nonsense, R -r rubbish. Look at this stupid boy. I, I will take care of. Him. According to our tradition, you and your son have been charged for the murder of your husband, and you must face the consequences. Igwe, I beg you. My son and I, we are innocent. We don't have a hand in the death of my husband, please. Will you just keep quiet? Shut that your dirty mouth! <laughs> You see, you women, you are not only worthless, but you are evil. What are you trying to tell us? That a very healthy man goes to sleep head and heart only to wake up dead the next morning? Is that what you're saying? Woman, you and your son conspired to have your husband murdered. Oh, you think we didn't hear that your son confronted his father? Yesterday, before you killed him? 
Yes, they had a little misunderstanding. Neither I or my son killed my husband. Igwe, you know my husband has been sick for some time now and he refused to take his medication. Oh, keep quiet. Ordinary cough cannot kill a man. You are just looking for excuses to cover your evil deeds. No. You told your son to kill your husband because he wanted your daughter to marry Maziaku, which the both of you opposed. No! You will suffer the consequences of this. Igbe, we don't need to waste time on this. We don't need to waste more time on this. Yes, my king. So that others who are planning to do the same, we have everything. Ah, Igwe, please. Igwe, forgive us. Mm. So, um, um, that woman might be innocent. She may be saying the truth. Ichi, how do you mean she might be innocent? If she's innocent, then who killed her husband? Mm. No, is it not after that heated agreement they had together? The man died in this day. So what are you saying? Uh, but you know that Mazike has been sick and has refused to take treatment from the herbalists, even after I warned him. Ichie, the whooping cough he had is not what will kill him just like that. It's not possible. That woman has to be taught a lesson. Eh? Uh, she know what killed her husband. She even went to the extent of convincing the son to hurt the father. To the extent that the boy put the father down. Uh -uh. Well, she must face the consequences of her action. I'm of the opinion that we look into this matter critically. There's nothing critical. We are looking critical. You must face her because of her. What are you saying? Hey, what are you doing? for the herbalist to begin environment on father before he is buried. Hey, that will no longer be necessary. See, you have to leave this village now. You have to flee. Why? Do not ask me such questions. The Igwe has accused you of killing father. So he has sent off his guards to come and pick you. They are apparently taking you back to the palace. Well, you know I did not do that. You know I did not, you know, you know I did not kill our father. Why, 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 why would I do something like that? Hey, I know, but do not ask those stupid questions. Hey, Mama asked me to come here and tell you to flee immediately. See, let me tell you, the ego is very furious. He feels you killed one of his cabinets, but I have to leave. Where's Mama? Huh? Huh? Where's Mama? Mama is still at the palace. How can I, how can I leave when, when Papa's corpse is still lying down? Oh. Eh? How? Oh, why? I know, but that's it. No, 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 I'm, I'm not going anywhere. Brother, please, be for me. Brother, be cool. Be cool. Brother, please, be cool. He's going to be scared. My head has some innocence. I didn't kill my husband, I swear. I swear, I don't have any my husband's death. Will you keep quiet? Keep quiet this minute. You suddenly have changed your name to innocent. Look at you. Eh? Now, scrap it. Scrap it. After conniving with your son to kill your husband, you ask him to escape from the kingdom. If he's innocent, why is he running? Why is he running? Worthless woman. Eh? You are not only worthless, but you are evil. Now, let me tell you. For the fact that you have killed your husband, you are going to sleep in that house with his corpse overnight. Now that you are claiming that you are innocent, let's see whether you come out alive by tomorrow morning. <laughs> but if you are not, if you are not, the restless spirit of your husband will smite you dead by midnight. <laughs> My hands are clean, I beg. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up! Hands are clean. <laughs> Scrap everything! Hey! Evil! Evil, evil man! Ichako! Ichako! You see you! You this evil man! 
If you like, keep her in that hut for 34 market weeks. She will survive it. But you, just enter. Just, just smell that hot. My God, in 30 seconds, you are gone. Evil, evil man. Evil. Look at this madman. Who called you here? Huh? Anyway, <laughs> there's no need wasting my time on a useless person like you. In fact, you're not a human being. If you were a human being, I would have asked the guards to behead you. Idiot. I did not give my husband a bill of sale. You are not a human being. If you are to be a human being, I will tell the guards to behead you. What else do you know? Killing. The way you answer. You that is a woman being, of what use are you on, in this village? Of what use are you in this village? If not, we are threatening evil, so it's evil. Oh, yeah, man. You said I'm not a human being, okay? I'm not a human being, meaning I'm a ghost, you know? I'm a ghost. Very soon, child catch them, but more. That ghost, you will see it one day, but more, they will just grab you. Ghost will grab you. That will be here, okay, man. Oh, bread, grow bread, oh, yeah, she. Evil. Evil man. Iche, please, you cannot do this to my mother. She's innocent. You are talking? Innocent. Eh? Were you part of the plan to, to kill your father? Were you part of that plan? Just shut up. If I hear anything from you again, we are going to treat you like a criminal, like a murderer. Ah. Idiot. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Ijako, Ijako. I wish I can see a giant stone. What are you doing? What are Father is so heartless. He is. Why well, your voice or what do walls do have ears? I don't care if they have ears, nose or mouth. I don't care. Please. But how could he? How could he belittle himself to the extent of keeping guard while those elders scrape the hair of Nayakudo? Mother, is that not sacrilege? But what do we do? The same question in everyone's mind. A time shall come when I will walk up to him and spit it to his face. He's being cruel to his people. Princess. Mother, I don't care whatever will come out. I don't care. The women of this kingdom need to be free. They have to be free. Princess, stop it. So that we can throw it into the evil forest. Jesus, <gasps> this is impossible. Oh, this is impossible. Yes, she's alive. As you can see, she's alive. Now that she's alive, can we destroy Ichiaku? Let's destroy him. Let's take Ichiaku into this hut and see if he will survive it. Uh, guards, are you sure this evil woman didn't escape your watch at night? No, Ichi. We kept watch all night. All we could hear was her endless cry all through the night, but later stopped. I see. Look, woman. Don't think you have proven yourself innocent yet. You cannot be innocent until we confirm from our chief priest here.
Woman, sit down. Woman, since you are still denying the fact that you killed your husband, you are going to swear an oath. This water is gotten from washing your late husband's corpse. Take and drink out of it. If you are innocent, the gods will let you live. But if you are guilty, the gods will strike you dead immediately. Now, take. Take! Drink it, drink it and return the cup. Sweet pan wine. That is a sweet pan wine. Drink it, nothing will happen to you. Drink it! Think the gods are asleep. Drink it. It's okay, it's okay. Give him back the calabash, it's okay. Give him back. Uba, it's here. Uba, blows here. I don't wanna. We must look for her son. My fellow compatriots, things are beginning to get out of hand in this community. Our fellow woman was forced to sleep in the same room with the man's cops, her husband's cops. They forcefully shaved her hair with wounds on the skull. Hmm. They also forced her to drink water which was used to cleanse the husband's cups after days. She was forced to take an oath. All this madness have to stop. The battle line has been drawn. This is too much to bear. We have to do something now. And when there is only a choice between cowardice and battle, I will advise battle. Let the heaven fall. Enough is enough. You know my stand on this issue way before now, even before I married my so-called husband. It is time. It is time for the women of this community to stand up and say no to injustice and wickedness. It is time to say no to our voices not being heard. We, the women of this community, have gone through a whole lot in the hands of men. It is time we go to make the king and the entire men of this community and say to them that we are not animals but human beings. We deserve equity and justice. We must do this for our unborn children. I have come to realize that what counts is not necessarily the size of the dog in the fight, but the size of the fight in the dog. We are women, but the men in this kingdom have stunned us to slaves. They tell us when to eat, when to drink, when and how to dress, when to go to the farm, when to sleep, when to talk. It is time we say no to this injustice. We will not keep living under this man's judgment. We will strive to gain our rights and our freedom. And together, we all shall end this madness. Tell me, what do they have that we do not have? What can they do that we cannot do. So many women has fought this same fight and they came back victorious. Let us talk about Queen Amina of Zaria. What about the Queen of Shakazu? Queen Matisisi? Lots of them. 
these people are compatriots and women warriors just like us. If they can fight this cause and come back alive, why can't we do the same thing? And if it means we have to die in this cause, so shall it be. Who is in with me? the guys doing? I can see Okoro and Godi best wife among them. That too. I am not sure they are still living in their husband's houses. Okoro has uh, married another wife. I see anger all over your faces, maidens. What warrants you to storm my palace? In this very disrespectful manner. Igwe, enough is enough. We, the women of this kingdom, are tired of the maltreatment coming from our husbands. You have to put an end to it. Yes. Um, enough is enough. Yes. We are tired. Yes, Your Highness. The evil laws against women in this land must be abolished. We have suffered enough. What effrontery. So you walked yourself into this palace, disrupting the garden of the villages with the king, just to utter your nonsense. Do you know the consequences of your actions? Do you want to be punished? What punishment will be more than the ones we've been receiving from the hands of the men in this community? What abomination. For you women to walk into my palace to utter rubbish from your mouth. Do you know the consequences? Of what you have done? We don't care, Igwe. Enough is enough. We are here to say stop all this nonsense against women in this community. We will not take it anymore. It is enough, Igwe. It is enough. What? Guards! Take these things, lock them up in the prison. I will have their heads on a platter in three days' time. You will pay with your lives for this nonsense. We don't you care. If we die, let's die. We do not care. Iwe, we no more Oi. As in the net, my life I cannot do more. Oi. More than do my own life, we no. Ugonai, if you're not going to confront Father and tell him to release those maidens he has imprisoned, then I will confront him myself. Princess, you know that is not a good idea. Then do something. This is virtually an art of wickedness. I feel for those maidens. They are women like me. And I don't see anything wrong in what they did. I feel and understand your grievances. Remember we are together in this. So, do something. Stay here. I'll handle it. Father, you have to release those maidens. They have done nothing to deserve death as punishment. They are only protesting against the way they are being treated. I thought you were a human being. How dare you raise your voice on your father? Are you mad? Father, nothing can be hidden from the son. What you and these men are doing is evil and you know it. Hitting me will not change the fact, Father. Those maidens have done nothing wrong to deserve death as punishment. Father, killing them will not do you any good. I am so ashamed of you, Gunna. You don't act like a son of this land. Sometimes, I think about how I will leave this kingdom for you to rule. I regret having you as a son. You are not worth it. Your stupidity will not allow you 
and to rule like the son of a lion that you are. You will allow women to trample on you. Father, you know I am speaking the truth and I do not care what you think about me. Those laws must be abolished. Release this madness now. Get out of my presence. Get out! Atuko, I am so sorry. I have tried talking to my father about all this and make sure he gets really Zubi, but he doesn't listen. He wouldn't listen to anything I have to say. I want to ask you, my prince. Is it a crime for someone to ask for freedom? What's wrong have we done? We only ask for our rights. Why is your father so cruel? Atuko, it's not a crime. It's not a crime. I am sorry for all this. I promise you during my reign, all this would not happen. <laughs> Women will have their rights as men. Your father has passed his last judgment. What are we going to do? Are we going to continue to languish like this? You heard him. We have two days to our execution. What are we supposed to do? Your Highness. Please, we beg of you, if you can, kindly help us. But, if we must die for what we believe in, so be it. Nobody is going to die. I shall do everything in my power to make sure that justice is brought. Remember, we are in this together. Nothing is going to happen to you, not even any of you. If you say so. Father wouldn't listen to whatever I have to say. Instead, he said that he's afraid I, I am not going to be eligible to handle the mantle of leadership when he's gone. We won't let him succeed. We won't let him succeed with the drastic decision he has taken on those maidens. He wants to have them executed and we won't let it happen. We will not. Exactly. We wouldn't let it happen. But then what do we do? Do you have any plans? Did a protest against father and other men. And if you don't do it, I would take the decision myself, not minding I am a woman. I want to fight for what is right. This is becoming too much. Princess, a protest. Yes, a protest. It is time we, the youths of this kingdom, come together and put an end to this injustice that has been brought upon our women. They are humans. They are our mothers, they are our wives. They are our sisters and our daughters. They are suffering. We cannot allow them to keep being treated this way. My father and his council of elders are not doing the right thing. We, the youths of this kingdom, are the future of the kingdom. And we need to come together and put an end to this injustice. Uh, my prince, your father will have our head if we do this. Because it's against our tradition. Mom. You know, women are not in any way considered equal with the men. Women have no say in matters of the land. They are only good in giving birth. Yes, they are just good in giving birth and repackaging the lineage. Come on, shut up. Yes. What are you saying? How can shut you Shut up, yeah. Oh, oh. You keep oh, oh. What are you keep saying? Quiet. Oh, oh. Don't say that again. That is a big lie. How could you believe in such fallacy? It's the same gods that created them. The gods do not maltreat who they create. Have you asked yourself how this tradition came into existence? These women need freedom. They have the right to express themselves. It is called human right. We cannot let them suffer. Just yesterday, my father had the maidens that came to protest for freedom arrested. And he has pronounced death as their punishment. How do we allow such to continue? We must come together and put an end to this injustice. And make sure that such tradition is abolished. Please, my fellow youth, if you know you are in this with me, raise your hand. 
As for me, I'm not a mom. Go now. Raise your hand. Go. Don't worry. Go. Raise your hand. Don't worry. Come on. Yeah. Come on. I don't want to raise. I don't want to raise. Look at that long woman. Look at that long woman. Look at that long Look at that long woman. Look at that long woman. Please, my prince, don't worry. I am highly behind you. I am highly okay, behind wait, you. Okay, wait. Okay, Jerry. Let them go. Um, see, my prince. My prince. Leave these idiots. These idiots just leave them. Like fathers, like sons. They are all fools. This meeting was supposed to be between just you and I because I see you. I see leadership. I see original leadership. If not for one thing, I would just say, your father. Hmm? He's not your father. Because you are not behaving like the Igwe. Yes, you are not behaving. Take a good look at this community now. Are you seeing progress? Bad. No, let me ask you, are you seeing progress? Nobody has a car. Nobody has a even bicycle, a, a machine, okay. nothing. Everywhere. Nkuri, nkuri. Go to Mwazo, my village. Go there and see. People are building mansion. People are building mansion, building, buying cars, everything. But I don't know what I'm doing in this my maternal home. Unwo! Except to you. Sorry, my prince. Eh? Don't worry. You see you. You will live long. Hmm? You will live long. But don't worry, you see this battle, we'll fight it and we'll win it. Yes, I promise you. Father, Father, what is the meaning of this? How could you order your guards to arrest me? That is a shame, Father. I am the prince of this kingdom, remember? I am afraid, not anymore. What do you mean, Father? I cannot bring myself to believe that you can mobilize the youths of this kingdom against your own father. What sabotage? If those youth had not understood what it means to rebel against their own king, they would have joined your stupid cause. Father, no one is rebelling against you. They're only protesting against injustice. Just yesterday, you ordered that the maidens that protested should be arrested and killed. They're only protesting for freedom, Father. I am ashamed to call you my son, Ogunna. And unto you, your feet to stand with me as your father and show me that you are able to rule over this kingdom. You are relieved as the prince of our Mankwa kingdom. No, no, father. God! What a father. Take off his crown. Take off his beats. Take off everything. And take off his staff of office. You will remain an ordinary commoner until come to your rightful senses. <sighs> Father, I do not care. I do not care. The struggle continues. How will you get out of my presence uh, before I skin you alive, son of a woman? Get out! I'm telling you, that is how it happened. <laughs> if, if not for that, eh? Uh, wait, wait, mother, mother. You mean to tell me that they came to throne his own son, Prince Ugunna, from being the hell apparent to the throne? Ebuka, I'm telling you what I heard from a reliable source. It's not a joke. I think we are lucky. Thank God we will never join in that protest. Who knows what would have happened to us by now? Brother, I'm celebrating if you are not. Because if you and I are part of that protest, our body would have been in evil forest now. Rotten. Ah, that you and I are alive is because you are not part of them. 
Um, uh, uh, madam, I think Prince Ugonna needs to start acting like a man. Because his concern over the tradition is getting out of hand. He needs to wise up. Ibuka, you're right. He needs to wise up. Ah, I'm telling the truth. He needs Man. to wise up. Somehow. He needs to wise up. My fellow women, this injustice is getting out of hand. Yes, Our daughters are locked up there in the prison, awaiting death sentence mm -hmm. from the king. We can't just sit and allow them die. It's not fair. But Ned, what can we do? Eh? Anyone that raises up his voice now, in fact, will end up in prison. But then we don't just sit, eh? fold our hands in our house and allow them. Mm -hmm. We we'll stop like that. It's not fair. The king will kill us mm -hmm. if we dare confront him. If not, I would have suggested we go to the palace. Mm. Then we'll seek help elsewhere. From Seek who? help from who? Who will from help who? us? Do you know that anyone that tried to ally with us now would definitely get punishment from the king? Exactly. That is the truth. I don't know. It's so frustrating. Hey. But I know it's not right to just keep mute and watch them no, being destroyed. Like that. What can we, we can do? do? Yes. We are, then we are, as we are good helpless. As we are helpless. We are helpless. What are you doing here? Are you here to mock us? What do you have to say before we are being killed by your father? Or later? Stop it. I understand how you feel. And I will feel the same if I'm in your shoes. But then, you have to listen to me. Tell me why we should listen to you. Your father is going to have us executed in, I mean, in a few hours. What's the difference though? No, you won't be executed if you listen. I don't understand. How do you mean? In the next two hours, I will make sure that the guard that will be in charge of this prison will be a womanizer. How is that possible? Well, for safety, I will add a little substance to his drink that he won't be able to resist any woman. Are you sure of what you just told me? Yes, Your Grace. I saw them secretly discussing it. Hmm. I see. Oh, they want to rebel against their king. Henceforth, all the guards should keep an eye on all the women of this kingdom. When you see a gathering of two or more of them, get them arrested, bring them here for judgment. Your will, my hand, your grace. The execution is tomorrow. Our death is near. What do we do? Oh, gods of our land, please help us. Listen, guys, this is how we're going to do this. We have to go according to the princess plan. And we do it exactly the way I say it. Do I make myself clear? This is the prophet. It cannot. Well, it doesn't mean anything because we will all die after. Don't say that. Let's just try first. Don't conclude yet. So hard. 
Don't you want to relax? Yes. What about your friends? Could you allow those hopeless mates or to kill my guards and flee under your watch? Your Grace, I went to get firewood and when I returned, I found Dumbazu dead in a pool of blood and the prison breached. Now go and find those useless maidens. Bring them back here. I will skin them alive myself and use their skins to make my foot mat. Go now. Hi. See, we have been running through the night. We need to rest. Huh? We need to rest. Rest, you say? Uh -huh. No. We, we can't rest. That's not possible. The ego will send these guards after us. Uh -uh. And you know that for sure. Let's continue. No, no, no. But we, we have run past the boundaries of our village now. Huh? We have passed it. Only do. Eh? Do you realize what we did? Huh? We killed a guard just to escape. Uh. The king will send his guards after us. Eh? <clears throat> Adugo, <clears throat> you brought us this far. What do we do? <sighs> I better just keep quiet. Let me just think. Oh. I think we should cross the water. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Water. Let's mm -hmm. cross the river. Mm -hmm. Ah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of Amankwa, who are you? Achala, the servant of the great goddess of the White Mountains, the goddess of truth. Please, 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 ma. The great goddess does not harm her own. Instead, she saves. 
What do you want from us? What do you want? Adugo, your escape from your kingdom was designed and orchestrated by the gods to bring you to the fulfillment of your destiny. How did you know my name? And what do you know about my destiny? What are you talking about? Hidden things belong to the gods. The gods have heard the heart cry of the women of your kingdom. The heart of the gods bleeds because of your suffering. And this is the time to end this cruel tradition which your king has created because he refused to see beyond his desires. Please, how did you know all of this? I know a whole lot. I know an unfold of where you hail from because I see beyond human imaginations. Please, please, but you, you, you have to help us. Please, we, we, we have suffered in the hands of this man. We have suffered. We, we need to fight for our freedom and equality. Please, ma, help us. Anger and madness are brothers. Strike with anger and without caution, justice will be denied. Great one, please, what do we do? We need a solution urgently. A river that is filled up in the presence of a man cannot carry him away. You all were witnesses of the ill treatment and therefore it cannot swallow you. You cannot be swallowed by it. Your destinies are in your hands. Wise eh? one, sorry, you're talking parables. Can you please bring them down? Like, can you talk in plain words? Please, embrace the path of the gods and your destiny is assured. Come with me. You see that your Igwe? The day I will, I will prepare myself to attack him. He will need 30, 30 pieces of each of you to stop me that day. I heard that the maidens, that the maidens that your so-called Igwe kept in his prison, that you people cannot hold them. <laughs> they all <whistles> and are you And you are perching everywhere. Perching everywhere like pigeon. Um, pigeon. Searching for them. Sorry. Sorry to you. <laughs> let, let, let me just ask you. Can you go to him? Can you believe Can you do? Now, they gave you somebody to guide. They gave the person to you. You couldn't hold the person tight. Now that the person is out of your reach, how can you find the person? Where would you find the person? Oh yeah, go. I wish you good luck. Come on, get out of here. I wish you good luck. Go. You will see them. Go. Good luck. Good luck to you. <laughs> I can't understand. How did they escape this issue? Your Highness, we lost track of them. How? 
you couldn't catch ordinary maidens? Forgive me, your highness. It seems they've left the shores of this kingdom. Oh, I see. Go and bring all their mothers here immediately. Their mothers must know a lot about their escape. Your grace, two amongst the maidens already lost their mothers. I don't care. Go and bring the ones that are alive here immediately. As you wish, your grace. The destiny of your kingdom lies in your hands as from today. It was actually the will of the gods that you will be put in the prisons. They also planned for your escape. Adugo, wise one, you are a great woman with a strong heart. It's not every woman that will have the willpower to summon the rest women and lead for their freedom. As from today, you are going to lead the women of this kingdom and march them into freedom. Okay, wise one. But at this point, I am confused. I don't even know how to lead the women. I don't know where to start from. Most especially now that the king is after us. How do we go about it? The battle belongs to the gods. It's not a battle with merchants and guns. The gods are wise and they walk in mysterious ways. Your destiny is in your hands. Move it. Iwe, we greet you. Now keep your greetings to yourself. You think you can conspire with your daughters and go against my orders? And you, Akudu, after killing your husband, you think you can set your daughter against us? And this time around, you are going to get it very hot. Igwe, we don't understand what you're talking about. Oh, you don't understand? But by the time I send for the executioner, you will tell me why you sent your daughters to kill my guard and escape the prison. Your Highness, your Highness, I can swear with any oracle. I don't know anything about the activities and the escape. You lie, woman! If you do not know, then who planned it all? We are innocent, though. We are innocent. I don't even know when they planned it or when they planned to escape. We don't know anything about it, anyway. All right, I see. I see. By the time you spend days in that prison, without food or water, then you will go and provide your useless daughters. <sighs> I will shut up. Guards, take them away and lock them in the throne yard. Get them, get them. Get up. Get up. <laughs> go. <laughs> happiness on the faces of the women of your kingdom you are going to fight for your right and end your freedom mankind must put an end to injustice before injustice puts an end to mankind I am going to fortify you for the impending mission that is set upon you Come with me. O je je lekeje, o ni obi abale nwe gi nwe yocha. O je je lekeje, o ni obi abale ye gi nwe yocha. O je je lekeje, o ni obi abale ye gi nwe yocha. Oh, 
Those women are held captive in that prison. I told you about this, didn't I? We wouldn't have watched Father behead those maidens. And now that they are in prison, does it solve anything? Does it? What can we do to help? Honestly, there's nothing we can do. He has doubled the guards watching over that prison. <laughs> arrested by the Igwe guards. What? The Igwe and the elders accuse her of aiding Mma and the other maidens escape from the prison. Why? Why would they accuse her firstly? It's time. I think it is it's time for me to come out and fight like a man. No! No, 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 brother. It's, it's very dangerous. No, no. Papa is dead. Mama is nowhere to be found. Mama is in the prison. You're the only one left. Remember, they are still looking for you. The Igwe will not hesitate to kill you if he sets his eyes on you. You have to remain undercover for now until everything turns cold. Why? For now, you must not show your face in the kingdom. Why? Why, why will I be a fugitive in my own land? Why? Huh? What have we done? Huh? What have you done to deserve this? What? My mother needs to be set free from that wicked king. I must do something. Yes. I must do something. But let's watch everything uncover first. I believe nothing will happen to Mama. Why, why our own is different? Why? What? Go out of my land! What am I going to Why? Somebody will hear you. Why? Somebody will hear you. What is this? I believe the gods are in charge. Everything will be fine. Plate as an unusual sport. I have to leave it for someone sees me. <laughs> Hey, Ne 
wise one. You have been made the head of the rescue team. You have all the powers in your name. No mortal shall stand against you. You together with the rest of the women. Restore the honor of the women and end their suffering. You must purge the land of all the evil men that have made life so miserable for you. The men who have made life so miserable for you. And of course, have them have a taste of what you have suffered. But then, you shall not reign forever. You shall sit on the throne as a queen for 12 weeks. After which you shall step down and allow the wish of the gods to be done. You must fight for what you care about. But you must do it in a way that will make others to join. You! 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 You all have the power to navigate through. The power to win. The power to stand against any mortality that will come your way. I 
Adugo, wise one, you must learn to think like a queen. A queen is not afraid to fail because failure is a stepping stone to greatness. You should not contemplate failure because victory is yours already. Hey! Hey, yeah, wow! Hey, yeah, wow! Hey, yeah, wow! The same breast that you have used to give your husband comfort to make them happy. Same breast that you used to give life to your children. Same breast. It's about to go on a mission. Mission impossible. But by the help of the gods, you shall come back victorious. You must go. Go and restore honor and justice for the women of your kingdom. Honor and justice for the women of your kingdom. Honor and justice for the women of your kingdom. Honor and justice for the women. What? What effort? I 
it is not the madness that ran away from the prison. This is abominable. Or for women to walk into my palace and attack my guards right before my presence? What nonsense! You call us women. I call us warriors. Now you listen to me attentively. I bring you message from the gods. You and your elders. It is high time you stop this maltreatment. This wickedness from you to our women. It has to come to an abrupt end. Set them free. Else. He who has ears, let them hear. The gods have spoken. It is only a stubborn fly that follows the cops to the grave. What you do not know is bigger than you. Enough of this madness in my palace. And by the way, who gave you the powers to come out to my palace and vomit the trash? Igwe, or whatever you call yourself, this is not a fallacy. Neither is this a joke. This is a message from the gods. Free the women of this land and let peace bring. Or ignore my message. You bring war to yourself. No mortal. I repeat, no mortal shall stop the solution. I have spoken. Let's go. Mother, you needed to see how those maidens pushed down the guards and walked straight into the palace. You mean the maidens that ran from the prison? Yes, they are back. So why did they come back? They will be killed. Mother, I don't think so. Those maidens, they can never be killed. You needed to see the way they were looking like warriors. The aura of their power. No one could stand them. So what did they tell your father? Well, they came to warn him to abolish all the traditions against women. Ah. Immediately. Or face war. This is indeed a good news. Shh! Exactly. Shh. Oh, is it good news? Why your voice? Your father must not hear about this discussion. Keep quiet. Really? Yes. Oh. Your Grace, this is a very big blow on our faces. A great disobedience to this kingdom. A crime punishable by death. Those maidens, they deserve to die for their crime. They have to die. I am thinking, what gave them the audacity is to come here and confront me. M my king it still baffles me. Eh? It still baffles me. This is a show of shame. How can they? What will people say? That male maidens confronted the almighty king. No. They deserve more than death. Your grace. The cast you sent to keep the maidens ended up allying with them. What? Some villagers saw them eating and making merry. No. No. This is not happening. What have they done to them? Igwe, you have to send the remaining guards. Those guards deserve punishment. Yes, for their stupidity. They need to be punished. Now go with the remaining guards. Bring all of them back here. Yes. Go now. Yes, Your Grace. What? What is happening? Since morning, these useless guys are not yet back. Something has to be done. Hmm. If not, we are doomed. We can't afford to be humiliated, Your Highness. As a matter of fact, Igwe, I can no longer go to my house for fear of these maidens. Same thing here. Your Highness, let it not be what I'm thinking. These maidens might have hypnotized them, just like the previous ones too. But then it must be an act of sorcery. They have magical powers.
Your Highness, what is happening? I heard that the maidens that ran away from the prison, all the villagers are healing them. I sent my guards to go and arrest all the maidens, but they ended up feasting with them. I don't know what is happening. Your Highness, that is an act of dark, powerful sorcerer. Hey. All the villagers are under their command. Hmm. And soon, they will rise and come after us. Hey. We must do something about it. We can't allow it to happen. I will do something. Strike them down. Kill all of them. Kill them. Yes. Kill them. Yes. They came in full force. The palace guard couldn't even stand them. And they moved from one house to the other to rescue the women. Our men are even afraid of them. As we are leaving the kingdom. How am I even sure? What you are saying now is the truth. <laughs> I'm saying the truth too. I saw the palace guard keeping guard at Okuri's house. We are there. So finally, the God has answered our prayers. How do you mean? We by the Igwe and the guards cannot do anything about it. My dear, our freedom is certain. At least very soon, all the sufferings will end. Don't you be late yet. I heard they have some mystic powers. But you know no one can stand our lady chief priest. Soon, he will face them and probably bring their powers down. You have a point. You have a point there. Here with document. I, I know you document your that is taking all your time. You don't understand. I went to call Ichiro Bika, and before I could sneak into his house, those girls had taken him away. Hey, oh. hey, something that is greater than the cricket has entered the cricket hole. Hey, these girls are moving from house to house, dealing and arresting men. Hmm. I saw this coming. Really? I saw it when our chief priest could not withstand them. <laughs> Even the palace guard, they sent to go and arrest them, surrender to them and pledge loyalty. Oh. Who is left? This is terrible. I better wonder where their power is coming from. Let's leave this place before they get hold of us. Let's leave. <laughs> Modern the man will have one. We've been maltreated for a very long time. Someone need to stand up and say, it's not, boy, We are human. We are not. The stable. fear of Adogo, they say, is the beginning of wisdom. Why are they running? Oh, they are running for their dear lives. The evil that men do lives with them. Their nemesis is beginning to catch up with them. Why are they running? I thought they were the high and mighty and so for that they were untouchable. Why not come and stand and fight? Why are they running? <laughs> I thought they said they were untouchable. Sister Obi, this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. 
I heard Igwe is not standing alone. He's standing alone. His guards and family members have all deserted him and have aligned with Adugo and our friends. He has even sought help from the neighboring kingdom. Do you think that the neighboring villages are not aware of the amount of atrocities being committed towards women in this community? Of course they are. My darling sister, if you ask me, permit me to tell you that. Liberation for women has come. Liberation for you, liberation for me, and the entire women in this community. Let's see how he's going to fight those sophisticated ladies alone. Let's see. Because the whole villagers are healing and suddenly behind the ladies. You were right. You have a point. Liberation has come for the whole women of this country. Father, you sent for me. Oh, yes, I sent for you. My son, we cannot allow the shame linger. We must defeat them. They are mere women. We cannot allow them to take over this kingdom, your kingdom, and do whatever they care with it. No. Father, what do you want me to do? I want you to assemble all the village youth. Match to where the maidens are camped. And bring all of them here. But father, I heard they have powers. Even Awoile could not defeat them. He could not stand them. How many mighty men and youth can their petty power stand? Go, they cannot defeat all of you. Bring them dead or alive. Yes, father. Do that for me, son. Restore your title. Go now. Yes, mother. I will do that. Your wish is my command. going to do as he instructed you to? I shall assemble the youths and march them to the palace. And when did you suddenly become his ally? Just watch and see, princess. Good job, son. <laughs> now, go put them in the prison. Nonsense. I told you. Put them in the prison. I'm sorry, father. But justice has to prevail. What have you done, son? What? Your reign as king has come to an end. What nonsense. Step down from the truth. Do you know the best penalty of what you just said? One more word from you, and you go see your ancestors in the spirit world. Look here, ladies. Do you understand 
the consequences of this action you are taking. The consequences is that from today, in fact from now, you all will cease to be consequences. <laughs> Collect his crown! Collect it! What a front! Let me have them. What? Let me have the particular way you have him. The crown, the beats, everything collected. My prince. Collect the, the caps of the Jehovah chiefs. Remove all of them. Hey! My prince. I love you for How do you see our little dinner? You're shocked, right? But you were not shocked when you were beating up your lives. Now all you have to do for me is respectively carry your bloated tongues into the prison. Nah. Uh, just before then, we have a kingmaker here, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, Iche. Huh? You are the kingmaker, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so you know the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. You know what to do, right? Do not waste my time. I do not have such patience. Move it! Fasty! What did you do? Mwa? Begin the crowning. Ose? Uche? Uche? Ash! Don't you dare leave those future hands of yours on me. Do I look like your wife? Sorry. Put it! Don't you join me, please. Your hands checking. Is it a check? He should. Sorry. Will you put this in I am I By the power of the king of this uh, kingdom, I cry you. Um, you don't go go fight. When I do go, you are you okay right now? Sorry. 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 You know, my mother, I mean, my parents, always told me about how women were in the Especially women in respect when the white people came to her. And the Queen Amina of Zara. You know, so many women have come up to rule the kingdom. And they did marvelously well. I want to be counted as as one of them. I do not want to do that at all. At least I am happy that we were able to take power from the oppressive men. Oh. And now, here is my turn. And you will rule well. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. I think they are really wasting time in the school. Can you bend down and sweep oh, no, my face? Oh, no, no, no. We've been maltreated for a very long time. Someone need to stand up and say it's enough. Oi, we are human. We are not slaves. We are in golden. What are you doing, guys? Tell them to sweep me, sweep, sweep. I said, I will sweep you. I said, sweep. What's up with you? Your waist and sweep. Go there, go there, go there. Mr. Man, I am losing it. Bend down and sweep. 
Enter your west. Your west should go that way. What are you doing? Are you stupid? What are you doing? I'm listening to this one. Make sure they bring that guy. We tell them where. What are you doing here? Do you think I give a? I don't give a damn about this man, the king. You know. Once in a while, a king can become a slave. Sweep! Before I sweep your lineage. And I'm not stupid! What's wrong with you? What is it? Come back here! Come back here! Now, sit good down! Now, get back this way! Hey, what is it, Manu? Those useless things. I have talked to them less than they never forget you. Uh -huh. <laughs> a woman who bend down, carry pregnancy for you, you stupid thing. Hey. They have to come and cook for us. Uh -huh. so, and I don't want to eat by this. Too much pepper, they will eat it. They will be hungry. I'm not on you. <laughs> Just the beginning. Just the beginning. I get so far. Yes, yes. Hey. I said, what's that? 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 What's it was a chorus, right? Yes. Please, Your Highness. You're my only hope. You have to help me, please. Really? Our husband. Yes. Your husband, not mine. I mean, my husband wants to kill me. He has been maltreating me ever since you left the house. He said he would throw I and my daughter out of the house. I don't have anywhere to go to because I can't be called. Because I don't want to go. It's okay, get up. You should get up. Hey. I've forgiven you a long time ago. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Well, it is obvious that your husband haven't noticed that power has changed hands, right? I will so deal with him. Just go, I'll send my guards to him. He will get my message and I promise you he will never lay his hands on you again. Thank you. Thank you, Highness. Thank you. 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 I said, Enough is enough. So the man can be subdued and be humbled like this in our kingdom. Then I fetch firewood, fetch water, and do all the house chores. No more maturity of women again. My dear, it still baffles me. But come to think of it, do they have a choice? They can't face those ladies. Even the king and the cabinets, they have succumbed. I wonder where those girls get the power from. Whatever they got it from is not necessary. The men of this kingdom were behaving like semi-gods, maltreating and humiliating women. Now, reverse is the case. Who know that a day like this would come? It's a clear manifestation that no condition is permanent. <laughs> Thank God for those ladies that save us from the harm of the men. My dear, let's go. Oh, let's get here. Enough is enough. Hey! Let me be sure you 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 evil elders are complete. Itiako, Okori, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where's the other uh -huh. One, two, you are complete. You are complete. Evil men, evil. 
I told you, I told you that your evil, this evil you are perpetrating in this community, we have a sparring date. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Nonsense. Every time you want, in fact, let me go and tell, tell that, that, that new queen. Let me go and tell her. You people will never step your legs out of this place again. Especially that Itiaku. You look weak. You look weak. They must dig your grave. Hey, hey, Itiaku. You want to flog me? Get out from there. You want to flog me? Yeah, God. Use that. Go and use that, that knife for him. Use it on him. Itiaku. Itiaku. You want to die there? I have seen that you want to die there. Onye, onye, ishi. The prison is not enough for you. Madman. It's not even enough. Now you tell me, if it was your wife that said what you said to her to you, I remember your words vividly, long time ago. You told me that the woman's head will be hanging at the entrance of your wish shrine. Now tell me, what punishment do you think you deserve? Please, your highness, don't punish me, please. I'm sorry it will never happen again. Really? Yes. Of course it won't happen again. It will never happen again. Now I want to give you a very clear punishment for laying your hands on your wife. Huh? From today onwards, you wash her clothes, cook and feed her, go to the stream to fetch water and massage her whenever she needs it. Do you understand me? Failure to do all those things for your wife will amount to your debt. And I will make sure I hang this head of yours at the same entrance of you. Guards! Flog him. Your Highness, please. Please. I will do as you said. We go. We go. We've been ah, treated for a okay, very no. long time. Someone need to stand up and say Get it's up. enough. Oi, we are Get here. up! We are Dad, if you don't get enough, you will not get enough. Now! Enough Frog him if you don't get enough! I, I said stand enough. up! Oh. Very good. I want you to do frog jump oh, yeah. out of my palace. I hate repeating myself. You continue like this until you get to your house. You stop halfway and stop the line. Continue! Hey! Oh, Cora! Huh? Is the food already? Ah! Is it ready? Food is ready. Food is ready. <laughs> and what is this? Uh, it is uh, roasted yam and uh, palm wine. Palm, 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 what? Uh, palm, get it. Is this palm, palm, palm wine? Uh, palm oil, roasted yam, palm oil. Oh, so because it's roasted yam and palm oil, you're not wasting all the time preparing it. Uh, eh? It's due to the baby I'm carrying. Stop telling me anything, baby. Stop telling me. You see this baby that you hated so much? Eh? Because she's a baby girl. You must be carrying her. Get used to her. Get used to liking her. Women are important in this world, in this life. Women are important. Did you hear me? <laughs> you see your life? You see your life? If it were to be the time men were ruling this kingdom and I did such a thing to you, <laughs> Okoro that I know would have me reported to the king because I am starving you and I will be flogged publicly. Now it's your turn. What should I do to you? Now what's this, Okube? Kube? Uh, don't, please don't report me to the queen. Please don't report me. Uh, I, I will try and be fast next time. Eh? <laughs> it's no longer necessary. I have lost appetite for this. This rubbish that you wasted time preparing. Do you know what I want now? Do you know what I want? <laughs> All right. 
I want you to prepare a goosey soup with hot pounded yam and fresh bush meat. You know, Yakuru? Can you What? 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 Oh, it's like you want me to report you to the king. No, no, no. No, no I will do as you said. I will do it. Hey, come back, come back. Where are you taking the, 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 the roasted yam to? Uh, to the kitchen. Oh! <laughs> After starving me, eh? You want to go and eat it. Is that what you want to do? No. Eh? It's a no. It's a no. Bring your head down. It's a no. It's a no. Eh? It's a no. 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 Father, you sent for me. What is this all about? Yes, I sent for you, my son. Son, this is our throne. We can't allow another to sit on it. You are the prince, the heir to the throne of this kingdom. Uh, you, 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 you can't allow this. It's your heritage. Look at me, the chief priest and the entire cabinet members. Look at where we are, the whole king. Your father was locked up in prison. Is that what you want, my son? Is that the reason you sent for me? I believe you know the implication and the punishment that follows what you just said. You are not going to tell her that I had these words with you. You are not going to tell her that. Father, I need you to understand that since Queen Adugo resumed or assumed the throne, we have lived in peace, harmony. And um, it's more a good leadership than you are, and I believe the gods have chosen her. My prince. Father, I am done having this conversation with you. My prince, are you all right? My prince, I dare you to notice me. My prince. Your highness, mm -hmm. we are doomed. The doomed how? Look at you. Aweli, you cannot even do anything with your powers. You are useless. You are a useless chief priest. Uh, Your Highness, I don't know what they have done. All my powers are gone. Look at you. Both of us are in prison and you're saying, my king, my king, do not allow them to hear you. Lower your voice, my king. Look at you. Your powers are gone. Okay. Obim. Biko. Don't touch me! Yes, ma'am. But all I'm asking is, is for you to forgive me. Eh? Find a place in your heart and forgive me. I, I wasn't the one all this while. Something came into me, but it all, all happened that way. Eh? I, I just want to say sorry for all the things that I made you pass through. Uh, it's not intentional. Of course you know. I, I am here to serve you. Eh? I'll make sure that uh, you are happy for the rest of, of your life. Of course! You do not have a choice. You will serve me till you die. Uh, uh, obviously. <laughs> because you know if you do nonsense, I'll not do you nonsense. will be severely punished. You don't talk when I'm talking. Shut up! Yes, 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 ma'am. But, uh, but you know, I, I said that, that you, you should... Shut up! I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right, right. Uh, who am I? A mere woman. Right. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's all right. I'll forgive you. Thank you. I don't have a choice, Thank do you. I? Uh, eh? Shut up. <laughs> Fine. Get up. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank Stand you. Stand there. Don't move. Get a bowl of water and come wash my feet. Immediately. Yes, ma'am. Run! You talk too much. Yes, man. Get walking. Go. Watch it well. Yeah, yes, man.
My king, I hope all is well. Well, I am beginning to regret everything that I did in the past. I am also regretting everything, my king. Did I hear you say that? But you initiated it all. You initiated it. And you legalized it, my king. You did. Stop calling me your king. I wonder if they will ever forgive us and let us out. What a cruel and heartless king I have been. Now he's telling on me. Abu, correct yourself, Your Highness. Your Highness, this is exactly two of the books that the white priestess actually told us. She said that you will sit on that throne for 12 weeks and then you vacate it. Our mission here is accomplished. Do the right thing. Did you hear what I just said? I heard you, not deaf. I have tasted the better part of way out. I have tasted power. It is so difficult for me to step down from this tree just like that. Do you think it's that easy? That will be going against the rules of the white priestess Achala. And you know it is dangerous. Do the right thing.
What happened? Thank the ghost of Why am I here? You were eating in the pool. And all of a sudden, you squeezed and fall. And yes, yes. We were actually not aware of what happened. Thank the ghost you And I have sent for the harbor and the in the bush. How dare you argue with your king? Out of here. I think, I think this is the one for the priestess. You have to do as she has said. Why is it too hard for you to address me with the word you are I don't understand it. Secondly, I am not going to come down from this throne. No, I am the king, and that is how it stands. You expect me to step down so that that king will come back and take charge? and prosecute us? I am not as stupid as you. Our mission is completed. The men now treat the women with respect. The tradition which was placed against women has been abolished. Everyone is happy. It's time you step down. Like I said, I will never step down. And that's final. Ask me. I think that the king has changed. The rude king and the arrogant king we used to know has changed according to the princess list. You lie. That corny evil man can never change. As a matter of fact, he is a, he's pretending. I will never step down for any man to take over the throne. I am not as stupid as if you will continue to come to my palace to disturb me with this topic, I would have no other option than to abolish you in this kingdom. Let's see. Stop you from coming to my palace. And that's all fine. I'm done with this. your wish, freed you from the hands of the men, restoring peace and happiness to you and the rest women of this kingdom. Why have you refused to step down from the throne? Great. This is not an act of stubbornness. No. I do not want to go back to suffering and agony. Looking back to what I went through in the hands of those men, I do not want to come back from this truth. I can't watch my people go through such intimidation and wickedness anymore. I can't. The war is over, Adugo. You have been liberated. Do the will of the gods. Yes. I understand your fears. There are things that are beyond you. Things you cannot change, no matter how hard you try. Because natural laws must be followed. The men are above all stupid men. The war is over. Don't dictate for thoughts. Step down from the throne. Step down from the throne. Step down from the throne.
I believe you have learned your lessons. The truth is I did what I did because I wanted you to feel the hatred, the wickedness you've been passing on to women all this while. How did you feel in there? Did you feel good? I thought as much. I am not here to challenge you, anyway. Either am I taking your position from you. As a matter of fact, at this point, I am handing over your kingship to you. years as the king of this kingdom I have always believed uh, that uh, uh, women have no place among men but little did I know that I was totally wrong uh, but I have realized the errors of my behavior. I want to say that I am very, very sorry. I am sorry I apologize. I am sorry uh, for all the troubles uh, that I had caused you in the past. I am sorry. Uh, I, 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 we, 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 without women, we are nothing. We are empty. We are useless without women. The world will be senseless and empty. I hereby a decree as the king of this kingdom that from this day, women must be respected. They must be recognized and they must be loved. From now on, they will no longer be regarded as slaves as we had taken them to be. No man shall humiliate or maltreat any woman in this kingdom again. Any man who does that will be punished severely, even by death. I have spoken, and so shall it be. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for correcting this situation, my daughter. Thank you. So, I guess we have to give our he got some time to go in there and come out in his full regard so we can proceed to the village square where everyone is waiting for us for some merriment. <laughs> we are waiting for you, Ibu. So I'm 
mud in the mouth when I wanna. We've been maltreated for a very long time. So we need to stand up and say it's enough. Oi, we are human. We are not slaves. We are important. Enough is enough. Oh.